weekend marks not only Father's Day, but National Lobster Day as what? well. <laughs> so to celebrate the decadent summer favorite, I caught up with Chef Mark Murphy to take some at-home lobster roll lessons. Give me your, give me your, give me your season for lobsters, which is why we are talking lobster rolls today, one of my absolute favorite things. I am meeting up with my friend Chef Mark Murphy at the West Side Market, and we are going to learn how to make a lobster roll at home, which is going to be fresh, delicious, and it's going to save you money in the long run. Come with me. Mark! How are you? What is it about lobster rolls this time of year? I think lobster rolls, is just, it just screams summer. Okay, so how do you feel about having your fish market boil the lobster for you. You don't want to kill it. I think that's fine. You're going to take you know, it home and use it right take away. Take it home, use it. I think lobster meat's got to be eaten pretty fresh. You know, somebody did tell me once that when they're in these tanks, they eat each other's tentacles. What? Well, and so really? the ones with the shorter tentacles have been in there a little longer, so you should buy the ones with the long tentacles. That's what I heard. That is a tip I did not know. How many lobster rolls will we get out of this guy right here? Uh, this, this cute is, little know, guy. This is a small one. This is about a pound and a half. He's got two claws. So you're going to get one lobster roll out of this. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more. So that would be about $15 probably for one roll. Yeah, right? About that, yeah. And if I'm correct, they're cheaper in the summer too. Yeah, well, the season up in New England, I think, is between July and October, so they're a lot cheaper. Okay, I think that you and I have different ideas of our favorite lobster roll. All right, well, maybe we should go make some. Come I think back we should. Restaurant? I do. Let's I really do. It. do. Okay, so we are back in Mark's Kitchen at Ditch Plains on the Upper West Side. And let's start out with what you put in your lobster roll. So I put some tarragon, some parsley, a little bit of uh, scallions, some mayo, lobster, and of course a little bit of very finely diced celery. And we also finish it off with a little bit of Old Bay. Anybody got any Old Bay? <laughs> Old Bay! Who needs a bun? All right, well, we are going to put it on a bun. I love using a Martin's potato roll, and we're going to brush it with a little bit of butter. We serve it here at Ditch Plains with some sweet potato chips. You make me a lobster roll now. Okay. Yours is so good, I'm going to do a lot of similar things, but you could do anything in your lobster roll. I think that's the, the fun of the lobster roll. Exactly. So I'm going to do make, the same Make time. the lobster roll your own. Make it your own. Okay, so I'm going to do a little melted butter, a little lemon juice, a little salt and pepper, a little celery, a little Old Bay seasoning, and maybe a little scallion. You now die. Perfect. Let's go out in the dining room. Maybe we'll get a drink and eat this. That How about like a beer? That's a great idea. So All right, good. you're trying mine, and I'm going to try yours. Yeah. Whoa. Nope. I love the lemon in here. Well, I'm so glad that we decided to have a lobster roll party today. Thank you for showing me your tips and secrets. Now you can make them at home, or if you don't feel like it, you can come to Ditch Plains on the Upper West Side or downtown. Two places, no excuses. See you soon. <laughs>